afternoon. So I'm getting back to some standing here in the cabin. I'm on the floor here on the sole. I'm um, down in the bilge area. I'm just sanding down my patchwork here. And I'm going to lay up glass over this whole area. It's going to extend onto the centerboard trunk here to help reinforce that. Um, I've been sanding, you might have seen in the other videos, um, the quarter sheet palm sander. This old Black & Decker I bought at a garage sale a long time ago. Um, it is very slow, even with aggressive sandpaper. Um, it's taking a lifetime, so I did end up upgrading um, to a dual random orbital sander. Uh, it was on sale for Black Friday at Lowe's. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a shot and uh, get to town sanding in here. Uh, so all right, back to work.
Hey, I want to get in here and talk about this repair down here real quick. Quick update on the uh, cabin sole. Um, so I did reinforce between the centerboard trunk here and, and the sole or the floor, uh, which is the hole itself. Um, so there are three layers of 1708 biaxial cloth here um, between the trunk and the floor. Um, this is a lead ballast. Um, so I've, I've at this joint here, I've reinforced and I've reinforced over here. Um, I did put the fabric over the, the centerboard trunk pivot bolt or pivot pin. Um, that'll just be drilled out, uh, but I wanted to reinforce that area. Um, when the centerboard's down, there's a lot of load on this area here that's gonna wanna make this thing flex, and we do not want that, or at least we wanna reduce it. Um, it's an old Mariners, um, although it seems not everybody's had the issue, but here and there people have had issues with cracking um, in this region. Um, so I've gone ahead and reinforced this area, and you can see the hole through the hole that was previously repaired that was sanded um, it's not perfect uh, but that's okay i'm not really i'm not gonna ferret or anything um structurally um i think this is great um am i 100 percent satisfied with this repair here no um there are well overall yes but there's there are definitely some defects it's not perfect there's some air bubbles here and there um that i'm not happy about um, so I filleted any uh, really tight uh, radii. Um, so there, there is, I did run some fill through here. Probably should have added more. We can kind of see um, some of these lighter areas look like air, but they're not. But this right here is air. Um, now this is a reinforcement, not a repair. Um, and so I don't think this is gonna be an issue like with needing to grind it out and lay up more glass here um, because the major areas, it's all, it's all pretty. Um, pretty air free, tight and dandy. So I think this is, obviously this is definitely much stronger than it was. Um, and there's a large piece of cloth that went over the entire flooring and wraps around it. It extends up, I think it stops, stops right about here, a couple, two or three inches up onto the centerboard trunk. So, but there are three layers um, at, at this interface by the ballast and up here at the attachment point of the centerboard. So overall, definitely happy. Um, I learned a couple lessons here uh, because it was a really large piece of cloth. So a couple of things I would have done differently. One, if I had the space was making sure, wetting out the fabric on another surface. I, th I think that would have helped, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I did wet everything out here. But the smaller pieces wasn't really a big deal because I just lay it down, I wet it out, put it up here. But this piece, I had to lay it dry. Well, I wet it out the, the underneath on the actual, the old fiberglass, um, then laid the dry cloth on, then dumped resin and tried to work out the air bubbles. It took a lot of time. It's not perfect, but overall, I would say it's successful for sure. So, my largest fiberglass repair so far. So, and this is my learning boat, you know, so I'm learning to do repairs here. Um, Okay, that'll that'll have to do. My lighting in here is not great. I'm just moving these lights around. So you can see um, in a previous video, this is the repair. The hole, there was a hole through the hole that someone else had attempted. Um, there was layers of of woven cloth in here. It looks like a, it looked like a polyester repair, which you're supposed to use mat between the layers, and it did peel apart. A lot of it was peeling apart and separating. Um, and then in the center of this, there was uncured resin, for sure. That's it was just wild. But it was like it was like a mound here. You know, they didn't even really attempt to taper it. They just cut it and just built up glass all in this area. And I guess they sealed it and, and it worked out okay. Um, but I, I was I was not okay having that on this boat. Um, so I went ahead, went ahead and cleared that out as seen in the previous video. Uh, tapered it out to a bevel about 12 to one. Um, I did a larger on the back side actually. Uh, but anyway, it's been tapered, um, and then and then multiple layers of of seventeen zero weight cloth on either side of this, including the outside of the hole. Um, I haven't sanded on the outside, but I sanded the inside here, and obviously reinforced this area. And then you can see where we have three layers of cloth 
total in in between these seams um, of different sizes the largest being being the, the the large cloth that took up the flooring here uh, you can see some of this color here is from um, the epoxy and and silica that I use as a, um, a means to fillet these the tight tight bends here the tight radius uh, which is also done in these areas as well so um, you can see, you know, I need to do some, you know, sand down some of these edges here. Um, and then I've got this the boat came with a drain hole that a previous uh, owner had installed here. Um, and I put some tape on it. So I had some duct tape around it. I've already pulled it out. I'm um, just to try to keep it from, from sticking to the, looks like a brass or a bronze nut there. Um, it's technically not a nut, but anyway. So that's this repair here, and I'm gonna call this done for now. Eventually, yeah, we'll, we'll do some touch-up sanding, and it'll it'll get some paint. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna call this job essentially complete, other than some finishing needs.